I know one of the things that concerns me a lot about scopes when I go to purchase one is whether or not the CRT still has life in it. And uh, as you can see here, we have no problem providing a, uh, a more than adequate trace. And I can take it from full off. This is a uh, half scale position, which is good viewing. And then I can take her all the way up to full intensity and uh, it's more than enough to drive this thing. There's normal viewing, full intensity, normal viewing. So the CRT has plenty of life left in it, more than enough to do uh, whatever you need to do uh, with it. Okay, we want to do a, a quick, uh, oh, sort of cheap and dirty test of the, uh, the vertical here to show you that the calibration uh, is correct on the vertical. And what we've got currently is we have the... Uh, the times one times ten probe connected to the probe calibration point, which provides a 0.5 volt, uh, thousand hertz signal uh, that's calibrated to the input. And right now we are set to 0.5 volts per division, and we see that we have a signal that is one vertical division high, which would be 0.5 volts. Now, if I reduce my voltage uh, per division scale to 0.2 I now have 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 volts because I'm half a half a division up so it's two and a half divisions. If I drop to 0.1 uh, I am now up five divisions so it's 0.5. Now at this point I'd like to go further, but I'm going to go over scale if I drop down. So I'm going to change my probe from the times 1 setting to the times 10, which makes this probe a voltage divider with the scope. And I'm, going to get, I'm getting now one-tenth of the voltage coming in. So now I can drop this. And at the 50 um, millivolt per division setting, I'm getting... That'd be 50 millivolts uh, per division. I'm getting one division. And, um, and really it would be 10 times that amount, which would be, make this 0.5 volts. 10 times 50 uh, millivolts is 0.5. So now I drop down to the 20 millivolt per divisions. There's 20, 40. Uh, would be 60, except I've only got a half a division showing, so that's... 50 millivolts peak to peak times 10 would be 0.5. 10 millivolts per division, I've got five divisions. That makes that 50 millivolts according to the scale reading, but then I got to multiply by 10 because of the divider effect of the probe. And again, I got 0.5. So we just now have tested all of the voltage scales from 0.5 to 10 millivolts and found it to be accurate. I can't go further because I, I can't, with this probe, divide any further. <coughs> but we've tested that we were accurate on those scales. That's uh, one, two, three, four, five, six of our vertical scale settings. Okay, we've now set the uh, scope probe up on channel two. We're still connected to the calibration point. We are on the times one probe position point, and we are at 0.5 volts per division. And what we see is that we have one division of scale, which would be 0.5 volts peak to peak, uh, which is the probe calibration amount. Switching to uh, my vertical on channel 2 to 0.2 volts per division vertical. You now see we have one, two and a half, so it'd be 0 0.2, 0 0.4, 0 0.5 volts. The 0.1 volt per division, we have five divisions, which would be 0.5 volts. Going to the 50 millivolt per division, we're over scale until I bring my uh, uh, times one times 10 probe switch down. I'm now dividing by 10. So it means I have to take my, my uh, readout here and multiply by 10. So my readout says I have one division. I'm at 50 millivolts per division input, and times 10 would be 0.5 volts. Going to 20 millivolts per division, I have one, two and a half divisions. So that'd be 20, 40, 50 millivolts times 10 would be 0.5.
Going to the uh, 10 millivolt per division scale, I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 divisions. That's 0.5, it's 50 millivolts, which times 10 would be 0.5. So we've done the same thing on channel 2 as we did on channel 1. And we verified that uh, over those six uh, vertical ranges, most often used, that we are uh, accurate with our vertical deflection. Knowing that we have good vertical deflection and knowing that we have a good time base and that the time base was linear and that we saw the voltage uh, uh, ramp um, uh, going in a straight line, then that means that uh, on these six ranges we know we are dead on. Okay, let's move on.